In this video, we are going to talk about the physical interaction system that is included in the November free for the month collection in the Unreal Marketplace. So the physical interaction system basically allows you to add physical interactions with various types of objects such as dials, doorknobs, almost anything you want. And again, like with everything, I recommend you to check the documentation that you can click over here. And this is around 200 megabytes. So in case you wanted to know that. So when you first open up the project, you will be met with a lot of shader compilations. So make sure to wait for a bit for those shaders to get compiled. But after that, you will be met with this level over here, the demo level. And I'm going to play this so you can try the features out in here. So everything in this room is physically interactable. So we have the windows, you can open and close them. And they smoothly react with your cursor. So you have all kinds of objects that you can interact with. We have buttons over here. And then you have the dials over here. The doorknobs, the drawers, everything is very interactable. On the top left corner of my screen, you can see we have the type of grip currently set as accurate. And if I were to press shift, you can see it changes to hard. And if I were to click on this object, you can see the way you interact with this is now different. If I change the type of grip to accurate, you can see we are now interacting this more normally. And this is very useful for certain kind of puzzle games. You also have the globe over here. So you can again open the doors by pressing the door knob over here and then pushing it to open this. So this is something that you need to do in order to open up the doors. And here we are in the demo level. We also have sliding doors. And by the way, you can actually inspect on objects over here. So if I were to click on the left and right mouse button simultaneously, it will go in this inspection mode and you can kind of inspect on objects. And also another thing is that these objects physically interact with other objects. So I can use this to knock other objects like over here or I can use this to interact with objects. Coming back over here in the debug room and this is something that I do want to quickly mention. Whenever I press over here, there's a bit of a jitter going on. And this is something that I don't know if it's from my side or whether it's from the plugin side that it's causing this issue. From the demo, there doesn't seem to be much of an issue. So I do think that this might be more of my issue. But you can see over here, even though I'm not moving my mouse anymore, you can see the values are constantly changing. So this might be my issue, but I still felt like I should mention it in case someone else faces the same issue. Another issue that I faced is that sometimes these images over here does not update properly. So sometimes it kind of shows the same image in all of these panels and other times it does show properly like this. If you can't read this, then you won't understand what's the point behind all of these things over here. So that's something to keep in mind. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try doing a quick demo on how you can actually create a physical object like this on your own. So if you wanted to create your own lever, what you need to do is that you need to right click, create a child blueprint class. And then I'm just going to call this test or something. Double click on this. And you'll have this lever mesh over here. That is the main mesh over here. I'm just going to change this to something else and also make sure to keep an eye on this material over here. Make sure not to forget it just in case double click on this to kind of open it up over here. And then I'm going to change this to you, know, you can you can select any mesh you want. I'm just going to select some random mesh. So I'm just going to quickly make this one up. You don't need to exactly follow what I'm doing over here. Again, this is just a demonstration. I would strongly recommend you to refer the documentation if you wish to modify or add your own assets as the documentation goes in much greater detail on this and it even has video links for you to better know how to use this asset. And then make sure to go over here in the materials and again it's called MI arm. So add that material over here or else it won't properly work. And in here we have the PM anti sleep over here. Make sure to add this as a physical material. Again, it's mentioned in the documentation as well. So make sure you follow that. But yeah, that's about it. You simply compile this and drag this into the scene. 
and now we have a very basic lever over here and yeah that's about it thanks for watching and see you later bye